Valley resident to go out there and create and produce his own film entirely shot in the Valley. I'm going to have a recap of the event and details of the show. On the Org to learn more and get involved today. Time now, 6.43. Now, Daisy, she is only 10 years old, but already learning to help those around her who are less fortunate. She's going to do big things in this world. NBC 23's Natasha Trindade tells us that this little girl found out her classmates didn't have pajamas. She set out to get them some. Good morning, Natasha. Tell us more. Good morning, Mia Martinez is a little girl in Edinburgh who is making a difference in her classroom with plenty of innovative ideas and projects. Mia Martinez is a relatively new student at Carmen Avila Elementary and she has already shown a huge initiative for making a difference in her school and with her classmates. She recently transferred from La Jolla CISD and noticed right away how she could make a difference in her new school. I noticed that they didn't have some kids on pajama day. They either didn't have any or needed new ones and I thought it would be a really um, good idea um, for them to for we, for me to put this pajama drive together so they could have nice and new pajamas. Mia, with the help of friends and family, was able to meet her goal of collecting 36 sets of pajamas, one for each class in her school. The pajamas will be given to a needy child in each class. This is not Mia's first drive either. She has done other drives in the past, including a turkey drive around Thanksgiving and a coat drive to help people stay warm during the winter. She's uh, a phenomenal yeah, young lady. She's got a bright future uh, ahead of her. Um, she's a go-getter. She's uh, always trying to find new ways to help people, to bring people together. Mia is the first reading millionaire at her school this year and has also recently been elected as her class president. And she says that will make it easier for her to keep helping her classmates and continue making a difference. The counselor at um, El Miano Zapata Elementary School um, in La Jolla ISD and she just inspires me the most. She was there for me all my life and I love my parents too. They're amazing, but um, she she was like my best friend. She has a bright future ahead of her and she says she hopes to become a judge when she grows up. Teachers say it is very important to encourage kids to follow their dreams and to motivate them to help others. We will share this story on our website, valacentra.com. 
Live from the newsroom, I'm Natasha Trindade. There are many people in the Valley with big dreams of working in Hollywood, and the RGV film community is indeed thriving with plenty of support. Lifestyle host and executive producer Daniel Banda has a recap of one event that offered plenty of resources and an announcement on a new film made right here in our hometown. Yes, that is so true. The 8th Annual South Texas International Film Festival was held, and the City of Edinburgh and Edinburgh Cultural Arts Foundation went all out, you guys. There was a little bit of a break in uh, the event's annual presence due to the pandemic, unfortunately, but it's finally returned after two years. And there were over 175 submissions of films from 23 different countries all over the globe. Various categories of films included categories like short and long form films, and there were various special guests in attendance, okay, for film enthusiasts to kind of just pick ideas and inspiration from. The official selections were screened at the Edinburgh Conference Center at renaissance and the anticipation of which one of those films was going to win crazy. There were even celebrities like Jackie Cruz of the hit Netflix show Orange is the New Black on site here in the Valley. Of course, very exciting. And other celebs included those who you see on screen right now from some of our favorite films and TV series like The Walking Dead and George Lopez. As some of the workshops were held for those aspiring to be in the film and TV industry, whether behind the scenes or on screen. And the array of workshops and meet and greets were also a great opportunity for attendees to gain a Hollywood's best professional advice and learn about insider secrets from some of those in the game. The industry expo and panel discussions were also a great resource to take advantage of, including the special effects makeup artist courses and the talent agents that were on site. Plus, get this, Emmy Award winners, entertainment lawyers, and seasoned acting coaches, everyone uh, that you can imagine was there. The festivities even included events of which allowed 956 residents to just meet up with actors and filmmakers from here in the Rio Grande Valley. Brenda Patricia Garza, for example, is an actress from the RGV and has been in a Netflix film among many TV commercials across our home state, which is very cool. And the red carpet, perhaps, is one of which really drew attention, and next year's is probably set to be just as spectacular, if not more so. You can keep up to date with all they've got going on. That way you never miss an occasion. You can do that by checking out their social media pages and website. But you guys, the fun doesn't have to wait until then. That event inspired Chicago native and now Valley resident uh, Juan Daniel Zavaleta of Wineskins Entertainment. And you know what? He's premiering his locally made film called Haunted Valley. The great thing here is that the entire movie was shot by him and his team in the Rio Grande Valley with, of course, local talent. One of whom is actually this year's Best RGB Actress nominee, Ivan Tovar. Among so many other people were included in this, which is amazing. If you'd like to check out tickets to the film, uh, you can feel free to log on to the website on your screen right there, and you can just take part in lending support for our local Rio Grande Valley film community. There are actually a lot of films that do take place here, especially in Brownsville and the Upper Valley. So. I think this is awesome. I mean, we have a little Hollywood right here in the valley. Definitely. There's a lot of historic sites in those cities. All there across the valley, but yeah, those cities are popular for stuff like that. Right, and of course, it's yeah. not going to show the mountains in Brownsville like the <laughs> Selena. <laughs> yeah. I know that. Netflix, where they had mountains <laughs> in the background. We're actually oh, filmed here in the valley. Oh, not accurate us, at all. Us you have never were. seen the mountains, mm. Chris? I, okay. I, well, which, which ones are you talking I mean, about? I'll have to take you there. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us there about the fog and the weather, but what about the mountains? I'm just kidding. No, I've noticed that. No, it's really cool. And then, like I said, little kids, actors, adults. I mean, it's really fun. Thanks, Daniel. Awesome. Definitely no mountainous weather, though. Right? Yeah, for sure. Definitely seeing some fog, however. If you are heading out the door right now, want to ex exercise extreme caution uh, if you are on the area roadways. Avoid those high.